Hi, this week's gospel reading and activity comes from the gospel according to John, chapter 3, verses 14 through 21. Jesus said to Nicodemus, Just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light, because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light, so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. So for today's activity, we are going to make a Celtic cross. A Celtic cross looks like this. It has a circle inside your cross. It's actually one of my favorite representations of the cross. Um, and on our circle, we are going to write the words, Jesus equals truth equals light to help remind us of today's gospel message. So let's get started. All right, so the materials that you will need for today's craft are two popsicle sticks, some glue, a marker, pen, or pencil, a pair of scissors, some yellow construction paper, and a paper cup or something else that's circular for you to trace. So starting with our cross, there are two ways that you can make it. You can glue both popsicle sticks together like this, or if you have an adult who can help you cut the ends off of your popsicle stick, you can cut the ends off to make it straight. So using your scissors, you can cut the ends off like this and you will need an adult to help you because it gets kind of tricky. See, I think it's kind of tricky. And then uh, you can cut the other end off Oops, like this. And so then you have a straight edge for your cross that you can glue on like this. Um, then you'll go ahead and put a little bit of glue on here. Um, you don't need a whole lot, just enough for it to stick. And you'll go ahead and glue your cross like this. So it should look something like this when you are done. And then you'll want to just set your cross aside and let it dry. And while it's drying, we are going to take our construction paper and our paper cup and our marker. And we are going to trace a circle on our construction paper. So take your marker and trace around your paper cup or other circular object like this. And then you will have your circle. And then what you're going to do, you're going to cut your circle out. All right, so now that you have your circle cut out, you are going to fold it in half and make a semicircle. You're then going to cut um, around the side that is um, I guess the folded side, you're going to cut another circle out. So you're going to take it and you're just gonna kind of cut a smaller circle around out of your circle. So when you open it, you will have a circle with a hole in it. And then on this circle, you're going to write the words, Jesus equals truth equals light. All right, so now you have your circle with the words, Jesus equals truth equals light and you are now going to glue them to your cross. So you're gonna get your cross that hopefully is dry by now, and then you are going to glue it to your cross so it looks like this. All right, now you have your completed Celtic cross with the words Jesus equals light equals truth to help you remember today's gospel reading. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next week.